Hello there, and welcome to part. What are we up to now? Five. Five of my Magic the Zoo playthrough. Um, as promised, this playthrough is starting from here, rather than the castle entrance. Castle? Lair? I don't know, whatever you call it. Um, just for convenience and sake. Ooh, me leaky. No good for water. Pebble. Okay, anytime anyone references like stones, pebbles, rocks, I'm gonna assume they mean eggs. Uh huh. Oh, there we go. So. Okay, let me get this straight. Bucket's leaking, right? By plugging the bucket, I apparently get the gates to open? Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, sandcastle. Hey, look. Notes. Oh, come on, notes. Uh, yeah. Only thing that's probably changed since the last playthrough is, uh... Is that an extra health bar there? Yeah. I worked and I missed one of those extra pieces of heart thing in Spiral Mountain, so I went back and got it, which gave me an extra thing. You know, that's basically it. Hmm. Solve my puzzle. Let's see. I have to type out a word that's listed on the floor. There's a giant mural that says Banjo Kazooie. And the name of the game that I'm playing is. Yeah, okay. And subtlety, J, J. Oh, there we go. K. K. Yeah, K was here. Oh my god, only 75 seconds left. But I already used A. I'll go to another A. Z O O again I and now I get the prize, right? Why does everyone in this game rhyme? Everyone. I swear to God, die. Aha, take that crab. Sweet. Hmm. So now we run into a predicament. Now the question is, do I get every genie on every level? Definitely not getting every note. That's not going to happen. Even though technically the notes are more important. Like, I'm literally going to get enough to progress. If I run into a no door that I can't open and I've unlocked all the levels, I'll, you know, go back and touch it until it opens, I guess. Maybe buy it a drink, take it out to a nice dinner. Definitely not getting all 100 notes in every level. Every jiggy... <sighs> gee, I could do it. Like, it's not so hard now, but once I get to those levels where I don't know what I'm doing, it's... it's gonna be a bitch, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's best we just stick with whatever's easiest. Like at the moment I really don't have a problem with running around trying to Cove, and hopefully you guys are finding it entertaining enough that you're not like sitting there going, GOD! Just get to the cavern already! Now, by the way, the, the cabin that I keep talking about, the giant metal shark, the one that traumatized me as a child, yeah, that's pretty much the very next level. So, uh, yeah, uh, bracing myself, bracing myself, slowly. Um, you know, not gonna lie, a little bit worried about it. Uh, these are the sentient landmines we talked about earlier, by the way. Okay, so we're, we're what, seven jiggies in now? Yeah, that's pretty good. We could almost stop here, to be honest, but, uh, you yeah. know, Keep going, see if I can find any more. I don't really know where any more of them are, but you know what are you gonna do? Whoop. Yeah, see, it's one of those things where at the moment I'm pretty much fighting between my desire to play a new level because this one is boring, and the knowledge that the next level I get to play is the one that A I've never played before, and coupled with the having never played it before, it's also ever so slightly traumatic for me. Hey, it's a dilly of a pickle, I'll tell you that much. But that's okay, we'll work it out. Between you and me and... I mean, you know, we're all friends here, right? right? You guys are... You'd consider yourselves my friends, wouldn't you? I don't know. At least pretty decent acquaintances. I mean, I've gone to the trouble of making this video for you. Oh, God, the failure. Yes, success. Wow, that's fucking much better than it did last time. 
Maybe the longer you hold A, the better it is. That actually seems to be exactly the deal. Alright, well we worked out what we went wrong with the spring pads. We. The problem with this level is, the amount of jokes and hilarious observations I can make is significantly shorter than the actual level itself. That's okay. If when all else fails, we'll go back to Old Faithful, which is Dan, being Dan, will do retarded shit, and that retarded shit will be amusing with any luck. Also, yeah, thanks to a helpful associate who uh, is one of the people I'm making this video for, mainly. Um, yeah, I found out YouTube limit. It's now 15 minutes, not 10. So, uh, it means you're getting 150% more video. Or 150% of a video. Math is not important, but math is irrelevant. Anyway, more video, 5 minutes of your life that I can waste extra. And that's always good, right? Okay. Uh, I pick the jiggy. Yeah. These eggs look like they're leading to a jiggy. Jiggy, jiggy. That gets us up to what? Nine? Oh, uh, there's one more. It almost makes you want to find it, doesn't it? Then I sit here and I'm like, I don't know where it is. And there's the ever present risk of that happening. Oh god, why did I dive? Why? Back to the surface now. Hey, uh, did anyone notice that Shockboy didn't shop that little exchange? <gasps> Maybe there's a program here and he's now horribly dead and he'll never come back again. Ever, ever, even in subsequent playthroughs. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> oh god, a man can dream, can't he? Um... Yeah, while we're on the topic, uh, I actually went back to Spiral Mountain and gathered like a hundred notes. This is all like in preparation basically for um, Clangus Cavern, because yeah, you know, on the off chance that I actually do get in there and legitimately don't know what the hell I'm doing, at least uh, I've got like a hundred notes Spiral Mountain and then what, like 60 odd here then that leaves you to get, what, like, 20 in Clankers Cabin, and then worst comes to worst, you know, we grab 20 notes, we grab, like, three jiggies, we get the hell out of there. Uh, that's all that really needs to happen. Okie doke. Um, honestly, guys, I think that pretty much exhausts my limit of what I know about this level. So, uh, I guess we're moving on, which is pretty cool. I think we're all happy with that. Get to go to a new world. Got, like, what, another 500 seconds to spare? That's uh, definitely enough to get us to the next level, at least, even if we don't really make much of a start. Alright, off we go. Clanker's Cabin, here we go. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, maybe you haven't been waiting, but I've been dreading it. That's almost the same thing. Alright then. Now, the other problem is... Having been traumatised by it as a child, I seem to have, like, mentally subbed out where it exists in the hub world. Um, I mean, this is the cool thing about Banjo Kazooie, is it's not like the Super Mario games, the Super Mario 64 in particular, where it's like, okay, next room, there's a painting in this room too, there you go, new world, have fun. There's actually quite a bit of the game is just exploring the hub world, trying to find it. Um, yeah, that's Click Clock Wood. You, uh, you can't really come back here until you've got a buttload of pieces, so that's definitely not it. Actually, I think Click Clock World Wood, sorry, is either the last or second last world. Um, it's between that and Rusty Bucket Bay, I remember that, so, yeah, definitely not that way. In fact, if I ever go down that way again, before I have to, I'm retarded, and you'll feel free to leave a comment saying, you're retarded, you knew you didn't have to go that way, what the hell is wrong with you? Um, now, Clanker is basically Grunty's uh, waste disposal unit, but that's his job. He's a giant shark, he lives in a castle, and eats her garbage. So I'm guessing this giant metal pipe might be the way to go. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam. Once more. Oh, right, rhyming. Yeah, I forgot. <sighs> I wish I could forget. Okay. Uh, no, that grate doesn't want to yield to my smackering. Um, ooh, switch. Switch, switch, switch. Hmm, well that's convenient. Hey, I wonder what the switch does. Well, it has a giant picture of a pipe on it, so I'm gonna go with pipes. Yeah, that's, that's cool, I guess. Hmm, 
still not real happy about that landmine. I mean, C mine just chilling out, being cool. Hey, bro, you should fall in this water. It'll be totally safe. We'll be, you know, it's alright, I'm captain of the safety patrol. We'll all be safe together. And then, you know, he tells you that, but then you look and you're like, man, you're not wearing a reflective sash or anything. He's like, ah, I knew I forgot my sash. Uh, you're just gonna tell me more useless facts that I'm gonna have to memorize. Yes, you are. Alright, this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna get to end game, work out what the hell that means, and then, at that point, I might actually go back and listen to it. Because really, no idea what the fairy's going on about. And would you memorize the random facts about Grunty's dog's name if you didn't know exactly why you were doing it? Maybe you would. I don't know. You're watching someone else play Banjo Kazooie. Maybe that's that's your deal. Okay. Oh, we're definitely making progress in this hub world. Aha. I know. That's Bubble Goop Swamp. Again, just. I, I mean, I have enough pieces, but I really want to do the worlds in order. You understand, right? Maybe not. Whatever. We're doing the worlds in order. I don't care what you think. This is how it's going down. Um, although, that being said, Bubble Goop is. after? I think it's after Clanker. So, yeah. Um, by the way, the order of the worlds, that's another cool thing, like, you know, I say it's after, and whatever, but there's really no, you know, law that says it is. Um, the number of worlds is basically, uh, the, sorry, the order of worlds is basically decided by um, the number of pieces it takes to get into them. And they were kind of clever where they were like, okay, so let's say someone gets like, I don't know how many pieces it takes over click clock wood. I'm going to say like, 10, just for instance sake. Let's say you get all 10 pieces from Spiral Mountain, right? You run straight here, and then you unlock Click Click Wood. And it's like, oh no, he opened like the last level, like, first. Ah, oh, he's crazy, he's some sort of crazy guy. It's true, but the way they programmed it is, you have enough chances to get enough stuff in Click Clock Wood that you'll be able to then unlock the level you should have been able to unlock, which is Treasure Trove Coat. That looks pretty nifty. Meanwhile, I am really struggling to find Clanker's Cavern here, guys. Um, we've got another one of those cauldron things. So now I can teleport. Ooh. That's because you're fat, Grunty. By the way, Mumbo tokens apparently crop up in, like, just everywhere. Um, see, I, 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 like, the only game of these that I've ever finished is Banjo Tui. And in Tui, the way it works is, um, if you have a world with, uh, say, Humble Wumba in it, it's the, the shaman chick who transforms you in that game, what'll happen is she'll have a token somewhere in the level, you find the token, you give it to her, then she transforms you. In this one, it seems that, like, you just get the tokens and you have to have a certain amount. It's, there's not, like, five tokens per level, and then you need five tokens in every level to get transform you. I can rock up to the next level, it could be, like, 20. Like, a uh, you know... Treasure trove, there is no mumbo, but there's still tokens. Go figure. Okay, so we've got... Unless this 180 no door leads to Clanker's Cap. But... If that's the case, you wouldn't think, like... Why have Bubble Goop Swamp, which is not the next level, and Click Lock Wood, which is one of the last levels, and then have... Ah, it boggles the mind. Ooh, actually, oh, here we go. This is new. Well, it's not new, it was here before, I just forgot about it because I'm retarded. Ha ha! Here we go. Okay, let's go. Alright, alright. Clanker's cabin unlocked. Okay, well there we go, that's Clank is going along. Um, which is good, because we're at the end of the video. So, I guess you're all just going to have to wait. But here it is, this is a moment of truth. This is me facing everything I hated as a child. Just, if we can get past this, we're pretty much good for the rest of the playthrough then. Anyway, uh, bye-bye YouTube, and yeah, have eggs, you like that. Um, yeah, goodbye, I'll see you later.